Hi guys, it's here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Lord of the Rings. Yes. In between episodes, I've been at the Mithril farm again. And I've been at Mount Doom and placed a whole lot of banners down to, uh, to stop uh, orcs from spawning so I can uh, build there. And yeah, we have uh, lots, lots to do still. Our beautiful elven quarter here. Um, we still have lots to do. We have to uh, uh, finish our our survival base here. But today I want to focus on on uh, getting Mount Doom uh, to a point where we can uh, we can see how long it will take um, till we can our uh, can have our final fi uh, final Mount Doom battle. So look at this. Um, we got over stack now. We got uh, 70 ingots to our name of Mithril. Just by visiting uh, the Mithril farm a, a few times. And now I want to put uh, this to good use. This is the key. I already forged this one here. I uh, found a long Mithril sword uh, in a sunken elven ruin and put a legendary on it. And on the other one uh, I found, who had nothing on it, I put Swift on there. And now I want to combine them. So I already spent on these two found swords, I spent um, nine and six, I think, ingots. So 15 ingots already without crafting the swords. So and combining this, yeah, 17 ingots. So 16 plus 17 would be 20, 33. So the swift, long, legendary Mithril sword is over a half a stack of ing uh, Mithril ingots already. <laughs> Pretty expensive, but we have to we have to farm. So we didn't have to uh, search for hours in the mines under in the misty mountains. Oh yeah, and I didn't have this yet. I didn't engrave any weapon yet, and I think this sword belongs now to me. Yeah, one of the last achievements, and now we need a name for it. Um, what's a good name? Oh yeah, I got it. Let's name our sword Sting. Like in the movies, yeah? This was also a Mithril blade, right? Yeah, cool. Look at this. The best sword in the game. Swift, long, legendary Mithril sword. Now we just have to get Orc Bane on it or something. S uh, s some Bane. But yeah. What a nice, what a nice sword. And these ingots, uh, of course we could use it, use them for building with these missile blocks, but I think uh, uh, such a good weapon. We can always go back. Okay, guys, now look at this blade, how it shines in the sun. Yes. Okay, let's go back to our Black Uruk fortress where, where I parked my, my little army of dwarves. And yeah, let's uh, take a look at all at, at Mount Doom. I already started started on the insides of it. Yeah, here we are. Our troops are here, uh, so awaiting orders. And our Blackwood Bale archers chilling. Yeah, look at this. Let's take a nice screenshot. This Black Uruk fortress we conquered. And the battle tower in the back. I wanted to build some more there, but... Uh, yeah, let's let's focus on on Mount Doom. I want to. Uh, I'm so I'm so anxious for the for the final battle. So look at this. All the banners. I surrounded all of Mount Doom with uh, silver blocks and banners and some uh, some gold blocks too. And I've been watching. Oops, here's a natural cave entrance. I want to use. 
for our for our motor uh, for our Bla Mount Doom entrance. So yeah, this this was a whole lot of work. I uh, think I fixed all the holes in the protection. Uh, so every time there there were spawns, I placed I placed another banner down where they spawned. So should be pretty safe here. And I made myself a waypoint. Where is it? Yeah, here. Here's the, here's the temporary entrance. And yeah, I wanna uh, I wanna build a way up here. Um, but first, let's let's uh, take a look in the inside. Yeah. So in here is a big pool of lava, as you may know. And we have to build a bridge, bridge in here. I already started with uh, putting some gravel pillars down. So every every pillar is like like one stack of gravel, and we have to have to transform all this insides here. I want to build stalactites and stalagmites from the top and uh, put a uh, put a ceiling in. And this was would be uh, would be pretty dangerous with all the lava around. So guys, this is a uh, pretty nerve-wracking work, and you uh, you can see it on uh, journey map already. But we need we need mortar blocks. We need mortar building blocks, and we can't craft them ourselves because we are not uh, evil evil aligned with the orcs. So we can't use their crafting tables, right? So we have to we have to collect these mortar blocks somewhere else. So let's get our get our orc orc bane out our our walk bane and I think uh, our, our troll bane too because we we go in unprotected territory now or the the other black rogue fortress we found on our our venture through through uh, the valley of spiders into Nern we found this black rogue fortress right on the on the border of, of Nern and yeah I don't use it and we need these blocks so let's let's uh, devour this base here we need a, f a few uh, pillars and stairs and fences and bricks and stuff so let's take it okay I think we have enough let's go back okay Go back down into the pit. Be really, really careful not, not to fall in. Uh, I already tried um, Numenorian pillars or Num Numenorian blocks. Yeah, this this mortar is much much better, and we still have to build this kind of uh, middle part. And I think it's too straight. Um, on the horizontal, so we have to. But but yeah, this this black black bricks uh, fit much better. Okay, let's uh, try out our first uh, stalactite here. Just uh, take a look for uh, for size. If the size is right, <laughs> yeah, we have to. This is just a small one. 
We have to do some more, maybe over there, a big one and sm some small ones here, a big one and some small ones beside it, and then some uh, hanging down from the ceiling. So we need loads of motor rock. And also we want to build a tunnel uh, we have to fight through. Uh, and this is the speed with just a masterful iron pick or dwarven pick. It's iron. Um, but uh, this will not do. We have to be faster and I have an idea for that. Let's repair our gondolinian sword, which has no bane yet. Our swift long legendary gondolinian sword, I think it's as good as mithril, I don't know exactly. I think it's the same damage, 12. All this iron steel. So we repaired our weapon against uh, humans and maybe uh, overworld mobs. And now we need uh, to repair our our Rivendell sword, our lucky li uh, Rivendell sword, or for fortunate, yeah. The blessed. Okay, weapons, weapons repaired. The Rivendell sword was with us from the beginning. Our first blessed sword. That's why it's so expensive to repair. And now we're here at the Golden Goblet in the Elven Quarter. We need the end rods, we need some fire resistance. And maybe you already know where I'm going with this. Maybe you saw this, the short video, but I took it down because it was so bad quality. Let's go to the nether. Okay. Let's see how long this will take. We need wither skulls. Okay, there we are in the overworld. T uh, took the elven portal in our wood elven treehouse. And here's our nether portal. And there we tried our enchanting, but enchanting is uh, disabled, so we just have to work with the with the mod specific uh, enchantment, so to say, properties for tools and weapons and armor. So yeah, here I farmed all the nether rack for our nether brick for the zoo we built last episode, which was a lot of work, but it was kind of safe in there inside of the nether rack, but out here it's a different story. Yeah, I always have the fire resistance on the hotbar. In case we, f we, uh, we fall in, we just chuck it and then we can swim out. Oh, where is it? The fortress is right around here, somewhere. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Okay, should be right around the corner. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's farm wizard skeletons with our blessed Rivendell sword and hope it doesn't take too long. Okay, don't fall into lava. Oh, there was a guy back there. Oh, yes, nice timing, my, my guy. The first, first ones. Oops. Oh, there was another one right behind it. Ah, oh, that scared me. I'm withered. Okay, this is so tense. <laughs> the damn nether in 1.7.10. Yeah, these guys are really annoying. The blazes. As always, pain in the butt. So, no luck so far. But, yeah, we'll get there. 
Over here is a blaze spawner and there's another one right in the netherrack mountain. So we can destroy this here because it's way too dangerous. Take it away, we don't need it. Stop burning please. Okay. Top of our saturation. There was a guy over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, just used a uh, journey map to to see where they where they are. This uh, spares a little bit of time. If we can see that there's a wither skeleton around, we can see it on the mini map or on the on the journey map. So yeah, let's grind. And don't fall down. Man, I'm on edge. Whew. Come on, guy, I need your skull. No luck. Guys, uh, I almost died off camera. There was a ghast and uh, several blazes. Uh, this is so dangerous, but I managed to escape. Boxed myself into netherrack. So let's get on with it. I had to uh, chuck my fire resistance because I was burning a long time. So yeah. Hopefully we get lucky soon. Okay. Always running all over the place to make them spawn. Oh, I think. Yeah, they are. But they are surrounded by blazes and these are these are the most the most dangerous guys. Because here there are so many guests spawning around here because this is a huge huge cavern. Let's take out these these blazes from afar. The Rivendell bow. Ah no. I hit the skeleton. I think he fall down. He fell down. So get some new arrows. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe he's still down there. Ah no, I think he fell to his death. And we just had the bow in our hand, so no no blast on that. Scared me. Whew. This is so tense. Okay, no, no skull yet. So let's ah, there the next. That's the next guy. Sometimes you get really lucky. Sometimes it, it takes like 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 ten minutes till you find another one. Come on, yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes, we got it. First with a skeleton skull. Of 1.7. Nice. Now we just have to find two more. Yes. Yes. I got it. Now I got three. Nice. Didn't take that long, maybe maybe ten or fifteen. With the skellies, there's another one here. Maybe I get one uh, f uh, for the collection because these three I uh, will use for the spawning the wither. Would be cool to have one, one for the collection. But I spent so much time already, and I just want to get on the video. So this is how we how we did it. Just look look out for wither skeletons. On the, on the on the journey map, this helped a lot to to find them. 
So we have to go to the north to our to our portal, back to our portal. Okay, there we are. Yeah, look at this, this, this shaders or this, 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 uh, all these particles. I uh, tried to, to turn them off, but I, th I think it's the shaders. So now we are back. Now we have three wither skeleton skulls, and I got this whole sand already. And I got some iron blocks, and we still need a few things for the in preparation for the wither fight. And I hope this goes well, because I want to come back here and finish finish the base and finish Mount Doom and finish the series. But for the wither fight, we need four pumpkins to be on the safe side. And also bring a bucket of milk for the wither effect. And an Athelas brew, so we got four four golems ready. And yeah, I think I think we are I think we are set for the for the fight. And I think I'm gonna do it in the overworld, underground, because I don't want to bring this overworld monster to to Middle Earth. Come on. Okay. Let's get back here in the in the mines where where I mine uh, or where I search for for diamonds. Let's get way back here to be on the safe side. I don't know how strong the wither is in 1.7, so... Okay, this should be enough space. Let's, let's place down the, the soul sand first. And now for the, for the golems my little or my big helpers okay get our our pumpkins <sighs> this is kind of dangerous don't hit the golem now because they would kill us in a heartbeat. Don't hit the golem. Oh. What a tense episode. <laughs> so dangerous, all I'm doing. Let's get some uh, regeneration and some strength from the Athelas. And yeah, just one thing to do. Hope we don't die, folks. If we die, see you on the other side. Good luck. Here we go. Wow, this sounds. Come on, guys, take him down. Whoa. Ah, looks good. Oh yes, got him. Okay. Oh, rip. And rip. Okay, four golems. Almost wasn't enough. But yeah. Oh, got some diamonds too. Damn. Okay. Got it. Mission accomplished. Let's take these these ores with us.
because maybe we need a di this this diamond pick to be upgraded. <sighs> okay. Nice. Whew. What a mission. This took a few hours of my time. So it's to do a put the silk touch back in there. We have to repair it. Let's put all the extra blocks away. So got the wither star. Nether star. Nice. Now we can uh, build a beacon in uh, Mordor and hopefully hopefully it works as intended. So let's go back to Middle Earth. Ah, we still need some obsidian. There's no obsidian in Middle Earth, so let's take our diamond pick. We just need three, three obsidian blocks for the beacon. Okay. Yep, three. Okay. Back to the Shire. Okay. So, we got the glass, we got the obsidian, and we got the star. Put these back. Now, three obsidian, one star, five glass. Nice. Phew. Lena 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 yes. Okay, guys. Now, let's get back to Mount Doom. And I think we build a gold gold beacon because we got so much gold from the Mithril farm too and yeah I think let's 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 grab the last blocks we have in here just in case but I think we should be good put our metal pouch back in our Draven forge so I uh, look at this, almost three stacks. Uh, yeah, I think this is enough. I think you need 150 or something. Okay. Let's go back again to the battle tower. And we have to wait every every time for the for the waypoint uh, timer. But yeah, let's get back, build the beacon, and. And see that we get this this done faster. Okay, it's night. Let's keep the night away. Okay, let's get up there. Build the beacon. Okay, we have enough. Nice. So. There it is. Nice. 
the Beginator. Okay, and I forgot something. Of course, it doesn't work with my Dwarven pickaxe and, and my, uh, and my uh, so unenchanted diamond pickaxe. So we have to we have to make us a top tier mithril pickaxe. And I have been back to the to the mithril farm again in between uh, cuts. So yeah, we have we have we have uh, so almost a stack again. And we can safely spend spend more on on this pickaxe. We already spent uh, forty ingots in this episode, I think. And yeah, let's reforge. Let's gamble a bit. Oh no! Unlucky. Okay, this is this is okay. This is enduring. Cost like eight ingots to put it in there. I think it was it would have been cheaper to put the scroll on it, the enduring scroll. But you can get lucky, and we have so many, so much material. I uh, I so always enjoy to to go back to the material farm, just to if I'm if I don't want to build or if I just want to play the game. Just go down there for a few hours, and you have uh, ten ten ingots. Or 20. <laughs> okay, let's make it masterful. And yeah, let's this. So there's already almost 20, 20 ingots again on the on the pickaxe. Maybe we can do some some long on it too. Maybe this. Uh, reach extension for the for the for the insta mining will be good because yeah we have so much me through and we can always go back always go back don't care we almost uh, spent a whole stack in this in this episode so yeah nine ingots for the third for the third property Let's get nine out and we are down to 37 ingots again. So, enduring masterful long me three pickaxe. Uh, okay, and as I'm waiting for the for the waypoint timer to to go back to Mordor, uh, I filled all the chests with loads of bone meal. From all the bones I collected from our Mithri farm too, so we can speed up the uh, pr production here on our farms and just wait for the for the waypoint timer. So this is a good use of my time, and then we can sell sell to our bartender potatoes and leech, leek and 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 uh, pipe weed at the moment. So yeah, let's put the rest of the bone blocks in here. We have so much more. We have like two full pouches of bone blocks already. But yeah, let's let's go back to Mount Doom and try out this this Mithri pickaxe we just crafted and the beacon we just grinded for. So without the Mithri farm, this would all be impossible. So I'm glad. I'm glad we did that and we spent so much time there. And I will go back there again to the Mithril farm because it's really much fun to gamble and to get drops of Mithril loot. It feels so good. Yeah, our Roaring Troll guest house. Let's go back to Orodrin. And hope hope it works and I also um, uh, enchanted or sm um, crafted uh, some properties on the diamond pickaxe because we want to compare them side by side the mithril and the diamond there's also a masterful on there oh there are some walks there but I think this is this is on the co uh, on the borders of our p uh, perimeter so yeah, here's the here's Mount Doom, 
water always renders a little bit slow when it's, when it's the first time. As you can see. So. Here we are with our OP Mithril pickaxe. And I hope this works. Let's take a look. We put an iron ingot in there. We have so much iron from the Mithril farm too. From smelting down all the equipment. So yeah. But not let's let's not try it out here. Let's let's try it on the tunnel. And hope it works. Come on. So back here we wanna build all the way down. I already made made waypoints to the to the cave entrance down there. As you can see on the journey map, this purple one. Oh yes. Yeah, the the diamond pickaxe doesn't do it. Just the mithril. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> nice. Let's insta mine Ordrine, which is the other name for Mount Doom. So I. I think this is it for this episode. It's long enough already. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you see you next episode. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.